Okay, uh, well, hello everybody and thanks for joining my session. My name is Michael. I'm the COO of a company called MSCRM-addons.com. We are a software development company out of Graz, Austria. And over the course of the next 10 to 15 minutes, I will try to give you an idea of what we do, what kind of software we develop, how we bring it to the market, what are the challenges we are typically facing and how we tackle them to achieve our goal, which is really um, unlocking the full potential of Microsoft Dynamics 365 for our customers. For everybody who is not familiar with what Dynamics 365 is, no worries, I will cover that in a moment as well. Before we get into this topic, maybe a few words about myself. So I'm Michael, I said I'm the CEO, um, have been working for this company for 17 years. I did start as a develop developer, so I, I got a couple of years of experience in coding, got a lot of technical insights into the products we use. As my career progressed, I kind of changed into, into different roles like business development, partner management, and today, as the CEO, I'm mainly responsible for global sales and marketing activities, aligning our development team to our company strategy. And my core task, and I think also the key task for me, is to stay up to date. What I mean by that is, is actually to, to talk to Microsoft, talk to our partner companies, to see where the market is going, what trends there are on the market. Um, and as you know, there's a lot of things happening right now in our space. We've got the age of artificial intelligence coming along and already see a lot of AI products being added to, to the Microsoft platform. We are also getting into the so-called low-code, no-code revolution. Uh, so I'm really trying to see how we need to align our products or can improve our products along with those trends and continue our success uh, in this market. Okay, so um, who are we? Uh, so as I said, we are a software shop sitting in Graz, Austria. This is where we are headquartered. Um, next to Graz, we also do have an office in the United States, to be more specific, in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, this was kind of incorporated, I think, 10 years back to better support our customers out of North as well as South America to provide better customer service in the end on site. Uh, we do have a very global customer base and likewise to the internationality of that. We do have 50 employees right now out of more than 10 countries. So that's kind of in line. And we've been in business for more than 25 years. So, um, and what do we do? That's the key question. So I said, we're doing software development for a product called Microsoft Dynamics 365. Um, this is a part of Microsoft's so-called business applications. So that's software provided by Microsoft to handle very common business processes for organizations. A very good example would be customer relationship management, for example. So maintaining customer data, lead entry, opportunity entry, uh, customer service as well. Um, Marketing would be another example, also on the ERP side, resource planning applications like finance and operations and so on. It's kind of a competing product really to very well-known players like SAP or Salesforce, for example. Um, so we've got this suite of business applications called Dynamics 365. They are backed by cloud data storage called the Microsoft Dataverse. And there's two new tools uh, that Microsoft released recently, which is Power Apps and Power Automate. This is the approach towards this low-code, no-code era, where everybody, every user should be able to build the app they need by utilizing just a canvas or by using Power Automate to automate their daily tasks in an easy manner. What is our goal with our software? So we take a look into what's there from Microsoft and try to enhance those products. So we take a look in what are very common tasks users have to do that are using, utilizing those tools. We look for productivity and usability. So, you know, what is a common task everybody is struggling with? How can we make that task easier for the end users and therefore help improve productivity and also user adoption at uh, our customer base? And the third point is functionality. So we also look for functional gaps within the out-of-the-box offering, and we try to close those gaps by developing tools that help them achieve additional features. I will give an example in just a moment. Um, so you know what kind of software we build and promote. Before I'm doing that, I'd like to say a few words about our success, as well as the challenges we typically face. So as of today, we are quite proud of having reached a customer base of more than 4,000 customers out of more than 80 countries. So it's really global. And we do have an astonishing 80,000 daily active users using our software. And this is only possible via our partner network. So we've got more than 700 partners right now who do sell our solutions. So those are software implementers or solution implementers. They basically go to the customers, implement Dynamics 365, and along with that, add our solutions on top of it. 
Now, um, one question I often get is, okay, how, how do we manage to handle 4,000 customers with such a small group of people, only 50 people? So there's, I put down four key concepts of four key areas we need to focus on when developing software solutions. The first one is availability. We need to ensure that our solution is available worldwide. Since our customers can be from anywhere around the globe, we have to find a way to, you know, make our software available to them easily. And we do so by utilizing the Microsoft Cloud, Microsoft Data Centers, also known as Microsoft Azure, to host our software. And therefore we're able to, whether you're sitting in New Zealand, Australia, North America, you can choose the location you want to get our software from. And therefore we can provide that um, on global scale. The second piece that is very important for us is scalability. Within those 4,000 customers we currently have, there's of course very small shops like, you know, a five user company, a startup, a little startup, but it can also be large enterprises with thousands of users utilizing our tools. We need to ensure that all our software is able to handle the demand that is needed at the customer site. So we always have to put a key focus on load balancing and scalability capabilities. The third point is of course the stability. Imagine uh, our software going down with 80,000 daily active users. That would open up a lot of support tickets. So we really have to ensure that our products are very, very stable. We are aiming for 100% uptime. Um, that's not really possible, but we are getting very close. Again, thanks to uh, the Microsoft Cloud that allows us to be available around the globe. And last, but certainly not least, the fourth element that is very important for every product we develop is the simplicity. And I'm not necessarily talking about the product itself, so the user experience for end users. Of course, that one has to be or provide good value too. I'm talking about those partners, those seven partners or customers being able to get easy access to our solutions. They need to be able to go to our website, deploy our solutions with just a few clicks, get them up and going in 10 to 15 minutes. And from then on, it has to be very intuitive to use the tool, but also to maintain the tool. So we do have self-service portals that allows customers again around the globe to go to our website, launch our service configuration portal and configure and maintain the services for all the customers. With those four elements in mind, let's take a look into one example of the products we bring to the market. And I will start with the idea or the demand that we've seen. So um, I put down um, three examples of Dynamics 365 implementation. The first one is the top one is the so-called sales module that is designed to handle sales, uh, communication, opportunities, invoices, quotes, and so on. Left bottom, we've got marketing and also service tools provided by Microsoft. When we take a look into a classic sales cycle from the very beginning, so at one point you will start interacting with a lead and maybe you need to send some personalized information to that lead. As you're working the opportunity, you might need to send contracts. There's often statements of work involved, uh, requests for proposals, just documents you need to generate. The closer you get to winning the deal, um, at one point you will end up having to send an official quote, most likely by most scenarios or purchase orders. And finally, once the deal is closed, everybody has to send an invoice. Um, and along with that, maybe payment or shipment confirmation. Uh, what all those documents have in common is they need to be generated incorporating data that sits with inside or sits inside the Dynamics 365 instance or the so-called Dataverse. And the same is true, not just on the sales side. If you take a look into the service side, there's a lot of service reports typically needed, uh, contracts, work orders, uh, that need to be generated and processed. So bottom line, uh, typically in every implementation you see with Dynamics 365, there will be a need for documents at one point. So our idea was, okay, how, how can we come up with a solution that tackles this, this defined requirement on the market? And the idea we came up with, we call it Documents Corpex, so that's the name of the, of the software really. And we kind of defined uh, three core capabilities this tool has to fulfill. The first one is the design. We, we thought we need a way to enable everybody, not just developers, to design templates. This means that the process of designing templates has to be super simple. And the best way we found is to utilize Microsoft Word. Why? Uh, Word, I mean, everybody knows Word, right? Everybody can use it. You don't really have to have super special skills to, to do something within Word. And what we do is we extend Microsoft Word with an interface to Dynamics 365, allowing users to map the content they need into the document. So the design of the templates is the first capability we needed. 
The second piece is the generation of documents. That's rather simple. You generate a document in different formats like PDF or just Word formats. But the third thing is kind of the delivery piece within this section. Every document that gets generated has a certain purpose. Um, think of a quote. You don't just generate a quote. You need to do something with it, right? You might need to print it for accounting reasons. Most often you have to send it as a PDF to the customer by email. Maybe you need to put it onto a document management system like SharePoint. So we thought, okay, let's not just do the document generation. Let's also help customers in simplifying the overall business process that includes documents. On top of those two elements, the third pillar that um, might bring the most value to our customers is the automation of documents. So in, in a lot of use cases, it's actually possible to completely avoid any human interaction to generate and process those documents, but to fully automate it. The benefits are quite clear. It's a lot of time saving, therefore money saving. Uh, the usability just goes up, the user frustration goes down. Also, all the documents that get sent, sent out are really standardized and free of human errors, data entry errors, and so on. So this was the idea, okay, this is the capabilities we need to develop, and this needs to be available on top of Dynamics 365. So for every customer that utilizes Microsoft Dynamics 365 or elements of the Power Platform. On the automation side, that would be, as I said before, Power Automate. Okay, so with that, that in mind, what did we come up with? Uh, of course, we wanted to make this available on global scale. So it's a cloud service that can, as of today, be deployed, I think, via 12 or 13 different data centers around the globe. Again, spanning from New Zealand to uh, the West Coast of, of the United States. Um, so a cloud service that allows to generate documents with an interface into Dynamics 365, into Power Apps, into Power Automate, that allows users to trigger the, the request for a document. And from that on also to process the document. So, you know, whatever you need to do with the document, we want to cover that. What are the challenges we faced from a development side? Of course, stability. If you're utilizing uh, a document generation tool, it's not rare that um, those documents are actually business critical. So, of course, we had to put high focus on the stability of our product, again, combined with a high uptime. Um, another thing is the scalability, if you think about the four uh, points I mentioned before. We do have customers that maybe need to generate one, two, three documents a day, but we do have other customers where it goes into the millions. So that's a, a couple of documents per minute that need to be generated um, and very often also time sensitive documents. So there cannot be any delay. So we had to think about scalability a lot. Uh, maybe to give one customer story there, we do have a customer out of, uh, I think Australia, they are doing smoke alarm system tests. And for every smoke alarm detector they test, they need to print a certif certification report. So as you can imagine, there's a lot of detectors in a lot of buildings and they are actually generating, or they did generate close to uh, 8 million documents in 2022. And then other scenarios would be like one customer generating a single document with thousands of pages. You still have to ensure that the second user doesn't have to wait for that one person's document with thousand pages to be finished before he can get access to his document. So we did put a lot of thoughts into this. And then the simplicity, as stated on a previous slide, um, it's not just the generation, it's also what should happen to the document. Ideally, every business process that includes documents can be compressed down to be just a one button click for the end user or to be fully automated using those automation tools provided by Microsoft. So this is the solution we came up with. Um, I think 15 years ago already, of course, there was a lot of development since then. But luckily, um, the solution was well received on the market. Um, so I put down some statistics about this product. As of today, on this product only, we've got more than 3,000 active customers, a lot of them on the enterprise range. So we've got 40 customers that have more than 1,500 users. Um, daily active users are 80,000 generating documents every single day. And the highest utilization is actually the example I used before, um, close to 8 million documents per year. You can also see on the right some of our references with well-known brands like Geberit or System Air um, along with that. So really a, a kind of a success story behind that product. And I think it gives you an idea of what the features are we're looking for, what the gaps are we're trying to fill in the out-of-the-box offering of Microsoft. Um, maybe a few words about working for MSCRM addons.com. Next to coding, which is already fun, um, we put a lot of, of work into 
you know, team building events. We need to have a strong team. We need to be able with just a few people to handle thousands of customers worldwide. So it really has to work well and communication is key. So we do a lot of those events like go-kart races or we did a, a cruise in Mallorca a couple of years back. And although we are a dev shop, we are quite active. So we do have a running team and we also have a tennis squad that, yeah, has a tournament once a year in the United States, actually. So that, that's quite fun too, along to other benefits of working with msuamadons.com. And with that being said, um, basically concluding my session today, I hope I was able to give you a good idea of who we are, what we do, what kind of solutions we provide, and wish you all a good rest of the day.